This is tutorial 2-5 in the GIS tutorial one book. And if the sound for this doesn't come out very good, I apologize. Um, I'm having trouble with the sound on my recorder. So we're on page 69 and uh, we want to open up the previous map and I have saved that in my S3 press folder in GIST1 in maps and it's tutorial 2-4 and I stuck my name on the end of it. Okay, so this is the map we had at the end of last, uh, the last section. And this should be, let me see. This does not match the one on page 68, but that is owner occupied by county. And we've got this on top of it. So let me turn that off. And now let's take a look. And he picked a blue tint for his, but other than that, I think they should be the same. Okay, so in the table of contents, we want to right-click the vacant housing by county layer. And click Properties, General tab. Okay, so here's our general tab, and we want to rename the layer vacant housing by percent vacant housing by county. So I need to put a percent sign up in front of that. And he also said to save this as 2.5. So after I do this, uh, we'll finish up on this layer properties. So now we want to go to the symbology tab. And we want to select HSE units as the normalization field. Okay, so not zero, zero, but I think we scroll down to the bottom here. We get HSE units right there. And the normalization field is the value that this will be divided by. So if, uh, there are 1,000 units and 500 of them are vacant. That will take 500 divided by 1,000 to get 50%, and that's our percent of vacancy. So the normalization field is always a number that's used to divide the value field by. Okay, so we want to select the classify button, and we want to select 5 as the number of classes. So let's change that to a 5. And we want equal interval for the classification method. And so let's go here and let's choose equal interval. And then we click on OK for that dialog box. And then we want to click the label title and not the labels up here. Label title. And we want to choose format labels and we want to choose under category here we want to choose percentage and now let's turn to page 70 and we're going to select the radio button beside the number represents a fraction which would be right here and then number eight click the numeric options button type one uh, let me see numeric options And let me see, click the numeric options button. Uh, type one is a number of decimal places. Okay, so that's right here. Right now we've got five or six. And we can click on OK, and we can click on OK, and we can click on OK. And now we can save this. Let's go as soon as it gets redrawn here. We can do a file. And we can do a save as, and we're going to save it as tutorial 2-5 and tack our name on the end of it and click on save. And yeah, I'll, re I'll replace it. Okay, now we're on page 71 and we're going to create a density map.
So a density map is just going to be a map of these values right here. So it's a map that shows percentages. So what we want to do is we want to create uh, right click on percent vacant housing by county layer and choose copy. And on the menu bar, we want to click edit. And we want to do paste. And it just copied another uh, layer of the percent vacant housing by county. And we're going to call this vacant housing density. So I'll just back up over that and vacant housing. And then on the end here, we're going to type density and hit enter. Okay, click the symbology tab. Uh, so we have to right click on that first and then go to properties and then go to our symbology tab. And we want a land 10 as the normalization field. So that's what we're going to divide by. So a land 10. That's going to be up near the top, I think. Um, there it is right there. So it's probably land area. And we're going to click on OK. And now we're going to go to page 72. And we want to right click US cities and click label features. So let's right click on uh, US cities right here. And um, we want label features. So that's right here. Okay, so now it's putting labels on the cities. And now we can go to number six on page 72. And we're going to choose uh, bookmarks. And there's a New York bookmark out there for us. So we'll click on that and it's going to take us out to New York City. And I think this is Long Island. I think this is Manhattan. And we should be on page 73. And let me see what layer we're looking at. Um, We want the vacant housing density. So that's what they have turned on currently. So uh, if I turn that on, now my map matches what they have on page 73. So now let's click on bookmarks and Los Angeles. It's going to take us out to Los Angeles. And that is the end of tutorial 2-5.